What's going on guys? King Raven here coming at you with another video today. So we've got another video of a couple of knives. Two knives from the Lefty Pass Around Group. So big shout out to the Lefty Pass Around Group for allowing me to check up these knives. But before we get into today's video, y'all give me a like. Don't forget to leave a comment at the end of the video. There'll be a little subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. And check out another video that I'll link. I think you'll like it. Y'all, please follow me over on Instagram at Shield Arms. So let's flip this camera around and get into today's knife video. Okay, guys. So today we've got two knives from Artform. This is the first time I've checked that Artform. And I'm really excited to take a look at these two models. Now... This is not an unboxing. This came from the Lefty Pass Around Group. So I've already opened these and spent time with them and got my opinions about them. And I'm going to let y'all know what I think, do some comparisons, and just let you know if I recommend them or not. Uh, so I just wanted to show you sort of like how they come packaged. So let's take a look at this one first and then we'll bring them both together and I will compare and stuff. So this is the art form saber okay this is a liner lock this particular version is in autumn but they do have versions uh, that are in different handle materials and blade finishes and stuff so let's check this out so nice looking knife overall Okay, whether you like Ultim or not and everything, uh, it is a very well-made, very nice-looking knife. So, the steel that we have right here, if the camera will pick it up, 20CB. We've got a coated blade. Feels like a DLC coated blade. Ultim scales and, of course, the liner. It is a deep K pocket clip, which is not reversible. So it's only on this side, but the build quality and everything is outstanding. The action is great, and I'm not the best at reverse flicking, and this is a very easy knife for the reverse flick. It's got uh, a flat spot right up here, and one of my favorites from using this knife and everything, because of this blade shape, the way the tip drops down, is with the forefinger up here and it's great for those draw cuts. I know I'm a double amputee, so I do most of my knife use, opening packages, mail, strings, food prep, stuff around the house. What 95% of everybody uses their knives for, that is my EDC. Uh, very few of us are going out and pounding on our knives and stuff like that. That's not what these are meant for. Uh, use the proper tool, a hatchet, fixed blade, and stuff like that for that kind of use. But this is a great knife. I could not find the manufacturer who OEMs this on this particular. It just says manufactured by Artform, okay? Now, the next knife that we uh, are going to take a look at, it does give the manufacturer on Artform's website, and we'll get to that in a minute. But the Sabre, if you like liner lock knives, this is a really good, good slicey blade. It's a flat grind, sort of a leaf shape, but it's got a really good drop point to that leaf shape. So... The draw cuts, in my opinion, are even better with this kind. Nice flats and that swedge. Just a really good overall looking knife. And it's great in the hand. Doesn't have a choke up spot, but it, it feels just great in this position. Whether you're not holding it or in a pinch grip. The ergos are just very good on this particular knife. Now, uh, if you or one who really likes to sharpen their knives as much. It doesn't have much of a good sharpening tool and everything like that. So take that as it is. I don't find that as a problem, but you know, that's just me. Lefties, you know, you would not be able to reverse this. So 
that, but this is a really good liner lock. Let's check out the next knife. Okay, so this one is the art form theory, where the liner lock was the saber. This one is the theory, okay? This is titanium handles, titanium backspacer, and if you notice, this is, all this is black, but it's got gray accents. The thumb studs are accents. We'll get to the thumb studs in a minute. The backspacer is a crowned. Look at, the camera can pick that up. That is crowned. That is a really nice touch. And of course, it's gray. The uh, milled pocket clip is gray. So all the accents are gray it's in the handle and the blade is black on this version now there's a couple of versions on uh, the website so this is the blade now i love on these thumb studs how they're sort of uh, jimped but it's a stair step there's a slope this way and a slope this way and the little jimping on it and everything sort of makes it like stair steps going both ways and it's on both sides so that makes it very comfortable and very easy to not only uh thumb flick but you can also reverse flick with these very easily it is a titanium frame lock and the blade still on this one is m390 very nice tall grind on this before you get to this little flat right up here don't know if you can if the camera's really yeah you can pick up that there's a flat that goes out right here and then it goes and comes to a nice slicey and like the saber this is a great in hand i mean really now no choke up spot and everything but i have about medium size hand i have no problem uh, large hands, I don't think you're going to have a problem. Exhale, you know, you might be starting to come off the back. This has jimping along the back right here and also where the ramps up on the blade, jimping comes all the way out to the end of these thumb studs. So you get a really nice purchase on your thumb right there. Uh, the blade doesn't drop as dramatic as the saber does but it still drops down so it's still very good on those draw cuts and just the ergos of this in hand i really really love now the manufacturer listed on art forms web website for this one is riot and riot does fantastic work this is just smooth the action is just very good uh, and everything. I've got other Riot made knives and you can just sort of tell that, you know, when you're holding the Riot made knife, that it's that type of quality. If you've never handled one, you really need to, to really know what that is and everything. It's just extremely well made. So let's bring in the saber. So we've got the theory and the saber, and let's compare it to a couple of very popular knives. Let's see here, um, the Spyderco Pair Three and the Spyderco PM Two. So as you can see, the saber is right there with the Pair Three, but the theory is more along the lines of the Pair Two or the PM Two. Let's do a couple of more comparisons. Let's see. This is the Kubi Titus. I've got a review on that. Check that out. And this is uh, the Demco AD 20.5 with uh, the winged original goat aluminum scales. Love those scales and everything. So uh, you can see Saber right there with the AD 20.5, where the type could be tightest, is right there with the theory. And let's do two more. Let's do the 
Vero Axial and the Cool Pulsar. This is not the Pulsar XL, this is just the regular Pulsar. So the regular Pulsar is basically about the same sharpened blade length and handle as the Saber, just a tad longer. And the Axial from uh, Vero is right there with the Theory. Just a little bit shorter and sharp, sharpened blade length. So, whether it's the Theory or the Saber, these are both excellent, well-made, very ergonomic, and I love the design on both of these knives. So, let's flip this camera around and wrap up today's video of the Art Form Theory and the Art Form Saber. Okay, guys. So, which is your favorite? The Art Form Saber? Or the art form theory. Or uh, maybe another art form. Is there another one I should check out? The Sabre is excellent. I, I have, cannot complain about that. But if I had to choose between each of these, I would choose the theory. Y'all know I'm a big fan of metal hand handles. I don't know if the Sabre is available in metal handle. This version is in autumn. Perfectly fine. No problem with that. But... Just the way these thumb studs are designed and the look of the handle and the fit and finish, it's just, and this blade, it's just really, really, I mean, it like it melts in my hand and everything. The way that handle is shaped, it's just great. And I love the jipping on the top and this blade. This blade is super useful. The design just really speaks uh, speaks to me and I love this exact configuration. I know they've got one with a silver blade and uh, silver handle and stuff like that because I'm not usually big on coated blades or black blades and everything but this just really I would like this configuration right here. I hate to send this off to the next reviewer this is one that I want to add to my personal collection because it's just that good. I can recommend both, but if you're on the fence on whether which one, the theory is the one that I highly recommend. Y'all let me know what you think of these two knives and which one you would choose or would you choose a different art form. Y'all, please don't forget to like. Leave a comment let me know. Let me know if there's something else that you would like me to check out. If I can make it happen, I will. Y'all, please click that subscribe button and check out this video. And follow me over on Instagram at Shield Arms. Y'all be safe out there. I'm King Raven, and I'll catch you in the next video.